I am Arjun Ghosh. I teach and research at the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at IIT Delhi. I work in the interface of technology, literature, performance and cultural history, a field that is called Digital Humanities. Digital Humanities is an interdisciplinary field which brings together the use of computational tools for humanities inquiry. It allows the use of digital tools to study literature, culture, art, performance and language and also brings in critical and cultural perspectives to the design of these tools. We are living through a moment of rapid digital transformation. But digital transformation in culture is not just about uploading files or scanning books. It is the ability to convert wealth of analog knowledge, printed books, newspapers, oral testimonies, photographs, sculptures, performances into digitally processable forms. This shift is deeply technological but also deeply cultural. To make a book machine readable, we need to scan and run it through optical character recognition or OCR. To digitize oral history, we need to use automatic speech recognition or ASR. Only after this transformation can computers help us analyze, interpret and discover patterns in these materials. Patterns that the human eye may never notice. But here's the challenge. Technologies like OCR and ASR don't automatically work across all languages and scripts. They need to be trained in specific cultural and linguistic contexts. At IIT Delhi, in collaboration with the Computer Vision Lab, we have developed Lipikar, an end-to-end -end OCR system for over 20 Indian languages. Lipikar received the Gyan Setu Award under the Gyan Bharata mission for digitization of Indian manuscripts. But there is still a long way to go before the full richness of India's linguistic and cultural diversity is digitally enabled. To do this, we need to work closely with our galleries, archives, museums and libraries. These institutions hold the memory of the subcontinent and can help ensure that India's heritage enters the digital era with care, nuance and scale. When this happens, we can feed the wisdom of India's past in all its diversity into the AI and machine learning models that will shape the future from manuscripts to performances and from folk songs to maps we can build digital systems that think across media across languages across histories at iit delhi i have been designing and teaching courses that bridge the worlds of culture computation and critical thinking we've also launched the digital humanities winter school a platform where scholars across disciplines come together to try out digital tools hands-on, to build algorithmic thinking and to reimagine what humanities scholarship can become. Digital humanities in India is not just a field of study, it's a call to build infrastructures of memory, creativity and justice. It is through this confluence of technology and tradition that we can power India's digital future.